Hello, everyone. Welcome to a time lapse. I have a bunch of videos actually recorded, and I decided today, today's Friday, August 20th, I think. Yeah, August 20th. And I decided to just sit down and edit a bunch of time lapse videos. So, this is the first of, I think, six videos. Um, they're all relatively short, they're kind of more sketchbooky things for the most part, like this one. So theoretically, it's possible to get a bunch of videos done today. Alright, so this one was from back in June, I think. It's at my old house, which felt a little weird to open this video. Like, the, the table that I'm painting on was on my front porch, so it felt... Like, you can't see much in this video, but it felt nostalgic to look at this. It's also when my nails look nice. <laughs> But I'm painting in my tiny little etcher sketchbook and using my Schmincke paints. And I remember this painting, it was a lot of fun to work on because I kind of... It's still very stylized, but I felt a little bit more expressive in terms of... Uh, I guess I just had an idea and I went with it instead of trying to make it make sense or make it feel like part of my comic, part of the story and just my color choices and everything. I just was enjoying the material and enjoying the concept and just running with it. So I remember this being a very happy painting. I also kind of had a bit of a, a bit of a revelation with this page and the next one, uh, which I haven't painted yet. <laughs> it was basically that it's okay to sort of embrace your inspiration wholeheartedly. I always feel like this, um, and lots of people feel this way, feel the urge to kind of hide my inspiration because I don't want to be caught copying or I don't want people to think I'm unoriginal and stuff like that. But these two pages, I just kind of, I don't know, the thought occurred to me that it's okay for people to know what inspires you and it's okay for your inspiration to show in your work. And for some reason, like sometimes it's okay with me and sometimes it's not. I don't know. Some days it bothers me more than other days, but yeah, this, this sketch page was just kind of fun because I just, um, I think I was kind of re-appreciating things that inspired me back in the day when I first started getting into art and I, I read a lot of manga, but also just when I first started getting into watercolors, what I loved was uh, paintings that looked so uniquely watercolory, <laughs> and I've been trying to make watercolors recently, or up to the point of this this video anyway, back in June, I kept trying to make watercolors look not like watercolors, I think. I kept trying to make them look like my digital work, um, but this painting was so fun to just kind of let watercolors do what they do best, and kind of let my... I don't know. This looks like the cover of a manga, almost. I mean, my style of drawing doesn't look like manga, but just sort of, I don't know, the tone, the atmosphere of this painting feels like the cover of some, like, a, a manga that teenager me would have picked up. It's got the flowers, like the guy in uniform, but surrounded by the flowers. Um, and it's sort of like this... Uh, this like manly element in the midst of all the feminine elements. I feel like that's a very manga-y thing. <laughs> and it's one that I still am very much a fan of. So yeah, it's kind of cool to watch this video now a couple months later because a lot has happened in the last couple of months. Like I moved and... Um, well I moved is the biggest one, but in terms of art I've become a lot more disciplined since I moved. I moved in mid-July and I just sort of like shifted gears. Like in a new space I just buckled down and like attacked my goals and <laughs> um but it's kind of fun to look at this because it was just uh it was just for fun and I've kind of been missing that but at the same time a little bit getting back into it the past week or so um and I don't know this is a good it's a good time to rediscover this because I feel like I, I was in the midst of all my sort of discipline and uh, diligence. I was starting to lose the feeling of spontaneity and yeah, rewatching this watercolor is kind of like the reminder that allowing room for spontaneity is what in a way gives meaning to diligence, maybe? <laughs> If you're not going to leave room to just have fun with art, 
there's there's almost no reason to get good at art. <laughs> you know, if you're getting good at art just to prove that you're good at it, that's to me that's not very fulfilling. So having spaces like this in my sketchbook where I can just enjoy the medium, enjoy the subject, and you know, share it with you guys. That's a that's a valid use of my time. And it's so refreshing and rewarding and it it does actually help me feel more ready to go back to work. So, yeah, nice little reminder. I want to get back into regular sketching and watercoloring. I'm slowly working my way back there. Um, so, yeah, hopefully there will be more of these nice little quick, simple watercolor videos for you guys because I would love to um, share that with you. Also, side note, I really love the way the leaves look in this. I kind of want to do... I just want to paint more plants after watching this video again. <laughs> I feel like I just, I just got the tone of the leaf, and but it's so expressive. It's not super tight. I don't know. Good job, June, Miss Mark. <laughs> um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye.